Hello everyone, I am MC Invisible, and I will be teaching you how to import items, blocks, and models in uh, Cinema 4D, into Cinema 4D from Roblox Studio and or Roblox in general. So first off, I am going to show you how to import the map. I'm going to use Crossroads as a uh, reference model or, or uh, map item or model. This is the default of what you would get in Workspace if you were to go to the Roblox profile. And then s you could choose to delete the uh, spawn locations but if you're going to animate your character spawning or anything in a fight scene or anything for example now the teleporters you don't really need those after you've uh, deleted the unnecessary things that you don't want to be in the uh, animation or thing just uh, select all of it and anything that you want to import and then group it you don't need to do it if you were to uh, for example, import this tree into Cinema 4D. You could just right click and then export selection. You don't need to do it for a pine tree, but uh, for a map, if you want to import multiple items like uh, this, it's all ungrouped and uh, going to import separately. But group it so you won't have to worry about anything. And uh, export selection, call it crossroads or whatever you would like to call it crossroads call it crossroads just uh, because now after you've exported the selection go into cinema 40 you could either do it from either file open or you could go over here into the objects panel and file merge objects file merge objects and then from there go ahead and uh, locate the the file where you've saved it get the file the obj file and then uh, import it. You could import it as uh, 10 centimeters or 100. I would suggest one. I, I would suggest if you have a slow computer, you could do it as 10 centimeters. But if you're a friend of Matt and you have his rig, y you have to. Uh, I highly suggest you were to import it as 100. That way, it would be uh, original scale with the rig. That way, the uh, the rig will be life size on the map. So after you've done that, you get after it loads, you get the map. I highly suggest to Control A or Command A if you're in Mac. Con select all of it and then right click and uh, group objects. You could also do that by pressing Alt plus G to group it. Then you get this. Uh, cross rods. Wow. Cross roads. Okay. Now, <laughs> uh, yes, you may notice that it is, it is all gray, but uh, the best you could do is really just texture it yourself. You can't really get automated things. No, sadly, uh, sadly, but it's it's just that way. So you, ha if you've imported this big of a map with that many textures, you're gonna have a long time uh, coloring every block or every texture. So <laughs> once you find the the color, what I would usually do is uh, that's the default right there. The default texture would be gray. What I would usually do is change the color to a noticeable color. Go find that block in uh, Cinema 4D and then go into Roblox Studio and then uh, go find that block on the map. Now, uh, if you don't know how to do this, you could just press Alt while holding Alt. Then you could select uh, select the block in the model. So if you don't press Alt, while pressing Alt and select something, it selects the entire model. But if you want to select only one thing within that model without ungrouping it or anything, just press Alt while holding Alt. You could then select the item. But after you find the block you want to uh, get, see this little brick color in the Properties tab? Yeah. If you don't have two screens, uh, two screens will be really nice because that way you could have this window open in one screen but if you've never experienced two screens 
that's it's a very nice thing but uh, if you don't just go ahead and move that to this side and then have uh, Cinema 4D open in the other uh, and then get the texture get the color uh, choose click on the click on the uh, color and then choose screen color go and s get the color of that brick uh, go back to Cinema 4D press OK and then you have the color you're going to have to repeat the process for every brick inside of the map so say this where uh, yeah and then I have to go get that go into Roblox Studio go find that block select it and then go back to Cinema 4D get the color choose screen color and then dark gray then you have the color it's a very painstaking process but uh, it's time consuming but incredibly easy it's incredibly easy but time consuming so I've gone ahead and uh, textured everything this is how it would look like if you were to texture something and if you're wondering about these pieces right here once you get to this piece or have something to texture double click on the material then go to the texture right here and then select this and go find the texture uh, after you found it in where, where that te uh, what the texture looks like in in Roblox Studio after you found what the texture looks like uh, th and then you go back into Cinema 4D and then uh, find the uh, material and then select the texture and then click no and that's how you would do that I don't know if I made sense to, to you but yes it's very long and painstaking it's just uh, that so now uh, I would highly suggest you to either save it by uh, going to file save as sa uh, or you could go into your uh, your presets and then file new preset library and then call this cross roads and um, doing it like that select the item then drag it into content browser and then drag it into the preset that's how you make a preset and then to get it right click on the preset show in explorer get the crossroads or whatever you've named it and then uh, you could then share it as a preset copy paste it to desktop and then bam so this has been how to import uh, import items, blocks, or maps t into Cinema 4D from Roblox Studio or Roblox in general. I am MC Simple. No, I am not MA Tech Terminate, but I am a very good friend of MA Tech Terminate. He is Mike Shy, or I don't know if he has a mic or not, but he wanted me to make this tutorial for Robotic Roby. And uh, thanks for watching.